So I've had an issue uh, programming the sim where I match up my buttons here. And let's just, I'll show you an example. If I do this RA test and I press it, you'll see that it goes in right there and the RA test appears. But you'll notice that that button stays pressed and it won't release, right? And so I have to come in here with the mouse and actually release it, which will never work because, you know, if you're flying a simulator with hardware, you need to push that button and have it release when you're done. And each one of these are push buttons, so it creates quite the issue when you're mapping out your sim. And I've read many things on the forums, and they tell you to set up, you know, your macros to where, like this one is a screen recording macro of a push button mouse. And at the end of it, there's two variables. There's one that can be a three, which will press it in, and a 13, which releases it. And I tried to run, run it to where when I set up Mobi Flight Controller, I'll just show you an example here. I have it set where it pulls in the macro set speed with the variable speed. And that one there, let me just cancel and I'll show you what that one does. That one is, um, let me just come over here to speed. That one is set to number three, which would be the push, right? But if I come down here again, and I go inside here and press the set, and I do on release, well on release, what I was doing was I was calling a second on release, I, I set it up to where it would call another macro, but this time it would fire off the 13. And that is supposed to work. In all the forums and everything I've read, that was supposed to work, but it would not work. And, and I spent a significant amount of time trying to troubleshoot this, and I finally got it to work. And the only way that I could successfully find a way to make it push the button and release the button after the push was to set my on release to a key command, right? Like a keyboard command, which is right here. I, I press the um, function key and the brackets there, and I assign those in FSUIPC. I created a macro here where, where I went ahead and, uh, well actually, went inside FFUIPC and I created a key press that matched that. I, I pressed the function bracket and then I assigned it to my macro here, which was the one with the number 13 in it, not the one with the number three. And so what that basically did was it said, if I press the button, you know, press it in and on release, instead of running another macro, it would, I, it would, I would, the only way I could get this to work was to run a keyboard combination that would then fire off that second macro. I don't know if this is a bug in Moby Flight Controller or not, but it's definitely will not work with on press being one macro and on release being a second macro. This was the only workaround I could figure it out, figure out. So hopefully on a future release, they will allow you to do that. But if you're struggling with that issue right there, that's how you have to overcome it. Hopefully this helps you. Bye.